Hello and welcome to the Jenny Beth Book Club. This is week five. I'm in a very special place in Paris. Shakespeare and Company, the temple of books. Do you remember during the pandemic there were queues in front of bookstores? Well, here it happens every day. If you need a book in English in Paris, this is the place to go. Big history, beautiful books and reading rooms upstairs, which is where I am right now. I prepared three books inspired by this place. First, a masterpiece of Russian literature from the 20th century, The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Like all the Russian novels, this is a book with a lot of characters. It's about the devil. The devil is Warland, a magician who arrives in Moscow in the 30s and spreads insanity wherever he goes. The book is also a love story between the master and Margarita. And the devil is not your typical evil character. It's kind of a Nietzschean devil. He brings chaos, but he's also a devil of creation, of the passion of life, of love. He brings humor in the sad and austere world of the USSR of the 30s. The book is really anti-system and I think that's why I loved reading it. You can see how the writer was writing against the society he was living in. Margarita plays a very important part in getting that message across. Margarita will make a deal with the devil. In that sense, the novel is quite Faustian and she will take revenge against the bureaucrats who turned her lover insane. So it's a very powerful female character. Fantasy, burlesque characters, a love story, social satire. This is the master and Margarita by Mikhail Budlekov. Okay, I'm gonna carry on with the theme of the devil with an American contemporary poet who I really love. Sharon Olds, Satan Says. This is her first publication. She was 37 when he came out. We also have The Dead and the Living, which was the follow-up. The Gold Cell, Stag's Leap, anything you can find of hers, you will love, I promise. Sharon Olds grew up in San Francisco from an alcoholic father. She wrote a lot about it and the violence in the household in her poetry. She received many, many prizes for her work, but I think it's funny to tell the story of the answer she received from a poetry magazine when she sent her first poem. They said that the subject she shows, which were family, children, were not real poetry subjects. And if she wanted to be published, maybe she should look at women's magazines like Marie Claire. Anyway, she masters the art of universality while talking about herself very personally. And despite the appearances then, her work is very political, it's very feminist. And it's simply astonishing. Poems after poem, it's daring, it's elegant. One of my favorite poems in this book is Sisters of Sexual Treasure. As soon as my sister and I got out of our mother's house, all we wanted to do was fuck. Sharon Olds, Satan Says. Okay, last book. I wanted to pick something that was useful. It's a very, very well-known book, Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke. Those letters were written by Rilke at the beginning of the 20th century. They were published 30 years later. A young poet wrote to him, his name was Franz Capuz, to ask him what he thinks about his poetry. Rilke at the time is 27, the young poet is 20, but Rilke was already quite well known for his writing at the time. Franz has doubts about his writing and about whether or not he should become a poet. Surprisingly, and this is what I love about the book, Rilke doesn't really give him technical advice about writing poetry. Instead, he invites him to take a journey within himself and question the reasons why he wants to write poetry. To reach authenticity, art must come from necessity. This is the book that taught me the concept of necessity in art. A must read if you don't know it already. For anyone who wants to become an artist, Rainer Maria Rilke, Letters to a Young Poet. This is it. I hope you enjoyed my selection. This was recorded at Shakespeare and Co. in Paris. It's a beautiful place. Thank you very much for following the book club. I will see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>